Hello and welcome to our March is Women's History Month interview series. I'm Brandi Yates filling in for Deborah Guthrie. We are joined by Alma Cooper. She is a junior from Oak Miss High School. Thank you so much for coming in. Of course. So let's first talk. You have multiple things we're going to talk about today. You are in a lot of different organizations and um, community outreach groups. But first, you are a student athlete at Oak Miss. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me about what sports you're in and um, just being involved in so many things at school. Um, I play volleyball, basketball, and I run track. And with that, um, it's given me the experience to um, be around people that I enjoy. I get to play sports with my friends. Um, I got to uh, win two district championships in both volleyball and basketball. Congratulations. Um, with that, I um, gained the experience of just uh, knowing how to work with other people and um, playing sports that I love. Okay, and so you're gearing up for your track season. Yes. Um, how, so volleyball and basketball, how did the season go overall this um, year? Uh, we won the first district championship in almost 20 years so wow. for basketball, so that was a really great experience to do that with a great group of individuals. Um, for track, I'm really looking forward to um, running the 800 and or the mile. Um, <laughs> uh, so um, having a mom who was an All-American, ran Division I, um, it has given me the chance to like get an inside look on what track is really like, but I'm excited to start the season. Okay, and so that influence from your mom, it's, it's Women's History Month, that's mm -hmm. why we're talking today. <laughs> How do you think um, that kind of leadership from your seeing your mother while you're growing up has influenced you? Um, definitely seeing a strong uh, individual, um, being involved in so many things, um, being working for the state of Michigan, uh, running several programs to help individuals. She has really inspired me to push myself and um, give me the chance to know that anything is possible. Um, she is a very inspiring woman. I look up to her, and I'm thankful to have her as my mom. Well, that mm. is wonderful. I'm sure she's watching at home and she's going, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, moving on a little bit. So this year you um, are Miss Michigan Teen. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Uh, being Miss Michigan Teen USA has given me the opportunity to not only stand up for um, myself, but stick up for individuals who do not have a voice. I currently work with Fashion Hope, which is a nonprofit organization that works as a catalyst to um, inspire and empower women through style. And as uh, individuals are fighting back from human trafficking, um, turning victims into survivors is our main goal because um, knowing that these individuals have gone through unimaginable um, struggles um, in their work to come back and be a strong woman, they have also um, lost a lot of the things that they may have had at one point. So giving them a second chance at style gives me the opportunity to speak up for them. So you, it sounds like you were already doing some human trafficking research or maybe some support prior to being Miss Michigan Teen. Talk about that whole, how did that get started? Um, a year ago, I was granted the title of the first ever teen ambassador for a nonprofit organization, Fashion Hope. So with that, I was able to start working with them in a little bit more serious manner. Um, being 16 now, I'm given the opportunity to finally start um, being looked at more of as a serious role right. and not just 13 years old uh, fighting for um, these individuals rights and things like that so um, being able to work with uh, strong men and women who are fighting for these girls um, is a great opportunity for me okay and so at such a young age human trafficking that's pretty that's a pretty deep and yeah. <laughs> it's a deep topic and um, an accomplishment already mm -hmm. and you're so young still <laughs> Why the interest in spreading awareness and um, for human trafficking? Um, human trafficking affects so many people. One in six in, uh, children worldwide are trafficked, and one million in, uh, children will be trafficked this year alone. So uh, modern slavery is a multi-billion dollar industry, and I think oh that with so many people not being aware of um, how to get involved, how to help, um, is really important because we need to know um, what is out there and how we can help these individuals get out of their situation. As ambassador for the um, nonprofit, what exactly do you do? Um, I'm the clothing drive director, so I work with um, safe havens across the nation. Um, currently, I'm working with the safe haven in Detroit, mm -hmm. rebuilding and um, stocking their clothes. So I work with Plato's Closet as well, where I receive bags after their clearance sale. Um, my first time I received bags, I had 17 bags. Oh my this gosh. time, I got 20 large trash bags full of clothes that are 
um, in great uh, condition. And I even encourage viewers to get in contact with Fashion Hope. Um, my information is located on, probably on this page as well. Yes. <laughs> so um, any way that people can help is great. But just um, me knowing that my, the clothes are going directly to a place where I know where they're going. I know that they're going to these girls who need them and who are mm -hmm. rebuilding their lives. Um, also working with uh, Courage House in Tanzania, all the way in Africa, um, there is an impact of what we are doing here in Okemos, Michigan. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you involve any of your friends or anything at the school level? Yeah, I, I get some of my friends to help me sort clothes, small, medium, large, shirts, pants, skirts. <laughs> so that's uh, something that I find as a hobby, just knowing that what we're doing in the basement of my house is changing the lives of girls all around the world. So how do you find the time and still kind of be a teenager <laughs> um, with all of these go you know, all I, these activities? Yeah, I try to keep a balance. I understand how important school is. I understand how important it is to also have a balance of what I do in just my social life. So I do have a strong friend group that <laughs> allows good. me to bring out my silly side, but I also understand that um, when I am putting in the work to um, sort out clothes or stay in contact with different safe havens that... Um, that I know that they have my support as well. Okay, and you recently, you're, you've been accepted to West Point Summer Leader, Leader Seminar, mm -hmm. and that's this summer. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, that opportunity was given to me um, recently, just about two weeks ago, I found out that I was accepted. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you, and um, it was an amazing experience to know that um, I'm actually going to New York, that's and I'm great. going to the Military Academy to see what it's like and to possibly even look at um, attending there if I were to be accepted and so knowing that I my application was um, at the level of uh, competitiveness to compete against so many amazing individuals right. across the nation who um, who look forward to going to things like this um, was in a, was just a blessing because I know that um, I can compete at a high level like that and I look forward to attending and um, representing my family. Well, what do you wish to gain or learn from that this summer? Um, attending the military academy, I hope to um, find myself breaking barriers uh, mentally, physically. I know physical training is a large <laughs> part of it. Um, I think I'm in shape now, but from experience, like hearing stories and people's testimonies, right. I hope that I can still think that I'm in shape when I get there. Well, um, being what? basketball, volleyball, track, I think you're on your way. Okay, so, uh, but I also hope to just gain a deeper understanding for what the military is like, and if I were to be attending West Point, what would really be expected of me? So as a junior and looking into the future, what, what does the future hold for you? What do you hope it holds for you? Um, I hope to get a strong score on the ACT. I'm currently in my prep stage. Um, I did get a strong raw score, so, um, with my prep score, I hope that it's better than that. Um, <laughs> well, well, we wish you luck on the easy team. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I also hope to um, leave everything on the table. Just know that I have no regrets. Understand that I only get one shot at my junior year, um, end the year off strong, approaching quarter four, ending semester two, and um, leave my senior year going out with a bang because I want to know that I gave everything my all and that I got accepted in the school that I want to and I can hopefully go on to become a neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon? Yes. So where did you get accepted? Um, for? Or where are you, where are you hoping oh, to get where accepted? I'm ho I would love to get accepted into a U of M, University of Chicago, um, any school out west. I love the state of California. So any opportunity that comes toward me, even West Point, I would love to have that hot on the table and maybe even accept that opportunity. Well, that a uh, bright future is ahead of you, I'm sure. Um, before I only have a one like one minute left, but I want to ask, what kind of advice do you have for maybe young women your age and getting involved with this kind of um, outreach? Um, I would definitely say that um, trust yourself because I think the biggest thing that in today's society is just doubt, and the only person holding you back is yourself, mostly because. Um, I know a lot of times when I doubted myself and when I just didn't feel like I could even get to where I am right now, but knowing that I have the support of uh, friends, family, my community, people around me, um, believing in myself was probably the biggest thing that got me over those hurdles. Okay, well, Alma, thank you so much for being on the show. I'm sure this is not the last we will see from <laughs> you, so good luck in your future. Thank you. You're watching another episode of our March is Women's History Month interview series. 
Continue watching every weekday at live at 3.30 throughout the month of March. Thanks for watching.